Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Mohamed Bakayev versus Manel Kopp. Mohamed Bakayev is 11-0, minus-125 favorite, 23 years old, which is crazy. 5'7 with a 70-inch reach, fighting Manel Kopp, who's 19-6, 4-1 in his last five fights. Last loss was Matthias Nikolai, which I thought Manel Kopp won that fight. Plus 105, basically a pick 30 years old. 5'5 uh, five, five with a 68 inch reach, 2 inch in height, 2 inch in reach, and he's also 6 years younger. So I think there's like a 66% chance Muhammad Makayev wins this fight statistically. But the thing that always uh, makes me go to, to Manel Kopp, even though he has been submitted before, it, it has happened, um, he has 9 first round finishes, he has 16 finishes out of his 19 wins, 6 and 3 in the UFC. Oh no! I'm sorry. Six and three in Risen. Risen. He's four and two in the UFC, which was uh, Pantoja and Nikolai. Yep, right here. Again, even though I really like Manel Cop, he's fought O'Day Osborne. Not good. Um, fought Zagalis, who's terrible. He finished him. Beat David Dorvac, which beat you know did well with him. Did work with him. And then fought Felipe Dos Santos in a close fight. Some people gave it to Santos. I don't understand that. I thought Manel Cop clearly won, but Santos looked really, really good against a guy that's top five in Manel Cop. What is Manel Cop's ranking? Okay, so number eight. Number five for Makayev. That doesn't make any sense, but sure. It's weird if you look at it. Makayev has actually fought the better competition. Not saying Manel Cop couldn't beat him, but beat those guys. But he has seven first seven finishes. He only has two first round finishes. Uh, he's a six and zero in the UFC. Obviously, four submissions. This is the guy that's fought some really, really good fighters. Cody Durden, twelve and three. Johnson, eleven and two. Gordon, fourteen and five. Filio, fourteen and two. Tim Elliott, nineteen and twelve. Perez, twenty four and seven. Now, do I think Manuel Cop beats those guys? One hundred percent. I think he beats every single one of them. But he hasn't fought them. Makayev has. The thing that always, always gets me in these fight in this matchup, because it's been rumored for a long time to happen, is Makayev isn't clean with a lot of things that he does. His takedowns, his entries are good, but sometimes when he's desperate, he puts himself in very vulnerable positions. The problem when you do that against a guy like Manel Kopp, who is so explosive, dude, he hit uh, Ode Osborne with a flying knee halfway across the octagon. It was not, never let, never like he, when he hit him with the knee, he was basically still on his feet. Like he throws the knee and he's on his feet. It, it's always weird to me because it seems like they're off balance. Manel was never off balance when he threw the knee. That's how explosive he is. It's unbelievable. Has he had great performances in all of his fights? No. I think he should have done way better against Dos Santos. He still clearly won that fight, so you can't necessarily complain. But And also, he had no time to prepare for Santos. Nobody did. Short notice fight. I believe it was, also, it was supposed to be Makayev. I might be wrong on that. But um, he wants to fight Kai Kara France, which, again, you can't leave openings to a guy like Kopp, who's explosive, very fast, very powerful, and not get caught. And that's what Mano Kopp is good at doing, catching guys when they leave openings. Now, again, there's not necessarily a striking um, worry at all from Akayev. There's just these takedowns. There's these scrambles that he has to worry about. He has been caught in the past earlier in his career. I don't think he does that again with submission-wise. He's been submitted twice in his career. But I don't think that's what happens. I think Makayev has, again, fought better competition. That's just the reality. But I think he's too aggressive at times, and he puts himself in... in uh, um, precarious situations almost like Cody Durden last night with Bruno Silva doing well fighting the exact fight we all thought he would do and then gets caught with an uppercut because he's too, he's too has too much pressure doesn't know when to back up or when to actually close that distance he just ducks his head down and gets caught with an uppercut and then finished I don't think that's what happens with cop but I don't think cop catches Makayev with an uppercut I think if he catches Makayev it's with the knee I think that's what everybody should be thinking about that knee I like Manel Cop. I think he gets the job done, and I think he's going to surprise a lot of guys. Plus 105. I don't know about that. I think a lot of money is going to come on Makaya because of his grappling ability. Let's see. Subscribe, like, comment, and let me know who you're picking. Peace.